Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope your day is going really well. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the newly announced AI structure filter that's coming in Luminar 4 later this fall. So let's just hop into it. Um, Skyloom announced that today that the Luminar 4 that comes out later this fall, I don't know when, uh, but when it comes out, it's uh, you already know about the sky replacement filter, but it's also going to have this AI structure filter. So what is it? So they sent us some sample images. I'm going to jump into those here. Um, if you look at this, uh, AI structure is basically, as the name implies, AI, so artificial intelligence based structure filter. So it's effectively an enhancement to the uh, existing structure filter. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I use that filter quite a bit. I love it. I think it's great. And so I was pretty intrigued when I heard about this. And so um, you can see the examples here. On the left, they have the original photo unedited. In the center, they have the photo edited with the uh, original structure filter. And on the right-hand side, they have the AI structure filter applied. Now, the difference is the old structure um, I'll call it the original structure filter. It's not AI based, it's not intelligent. And so it basically just applies everything globally and sort of non-discriminately, right? So you drag the structure slider to the right or the left and you know, boom, you get enhanced structure in your photo. Uh, if you're not familiar, structure is basically, uh, it's like uh, bringing up details and clarity. So like edge contrast, it basically makes your photo a little more punchy. That's the word I like to use. and um, it does accentuate detail or at least the appearance of detail and so it can give you a little bit more crispy uh, look to your photo. I like to use it and brush it in selectively to certain areas like maybe stone or rock or things like that and um, that's if I drag it to the right to increase the structure. I'll often drag it to the left to decrease structure which will smooth things out and then I'll paint it into the sky or the water. The cool thing about AI structure is that it is content aware. Let's jump into the next image. Um, as you can see here, they're telling us that it's accentuating uh, details where you want them accentuated and not where you don't. And so it's content aware. As you can see in this graphic, it's supposedly detecting the sky, it's detecting the landscape, but most importantly, it's detecting humans. And if you've ever added structure to a portrait, for example, you'll notice that it really crunches up the detail quite a bit. And on skin, it looks terrible. Um, and in fact, it makes it look kind of like that, that, this center one here. Kind of what I call the coal miner look, right? There's not a model anywhere that wants to look like a coal miner. And so if you apply the original structure filter non-discriminately and it goes across the skin and the hair and things like that, they, they just look kind of dirty, kind of like a coal miner. So you can see the original on the left, the original, excuse me, the original unedited photo on the left, the original or old structure filter in the center, and the AI structure filter example on the right. And so as you can see in this difference, uh, in these different photos, in this example, they've brought up the structure and kind of the crispiness of some of the details in the background, but the model there hasn't been impacted, and I think that's really cool. So let me show you one more example. Um, on the left, you have the original image. On the right, you have it edited with AI structure. So you can see all the rocks as well as the subject, which would be the horse, the gentleman, and the bird. They've uh, really brought up sort of the crispiness a little bit and I think it looks great. Now it's brought up a little bit of texture in the sky, but very little. Uh, and, and I think it looks really good to be honest. And um, I'm generally a person that likes really smooth skies, just a thing that I like. But um, even with a little bit of enhancement in the sky, I'm okay with that. And I think it looks good there. So um, what I do have for you is a treat. And that is, in addition to sending those pictures, they sent us a, a kind of a one-off copy of Luminar 3 that has this AI structure filter built in. And so this is not your normal copy of Luminar 3. And to my knowledge, Luminar 3 in the future is not going to get this filter. It's only going to be in Luminar 4. But my guess is Luminar 4 is not ready. I haven't seen it. I don't know when I'm going to see it. Uh, but I do have this one-off kind of weird copy of Luminar 3. Not weird, but it's just a, a one-off copy that happens to have the AI structure filter built in. So you can just click on Add Filter, and it's right there, AI Structure. And that's what I did. I thought I would just use this filter and show you what it's like. So there you go. I just went to 100 and I'll drag boost as well. And you can see it seems to be nicely bringing up the detail in the area that I want it to be brought up, which is the buildings, and not really in the areas where I don't want it, which is the clouds, right? So let me show you the before 
and the after. It did bring up a tiny bit of accentuated uh, texture, if you will, in the clouds, but it's it's minute. Uh, it's it's really it's almost um, not noticeable. And in fact, I think the the clouds in some ways look better actually. So, uh, but the buildings look crisper, and that's kind of what I was trying to do. So, let me grab another photo. Okay, here's another photo from London. That last one was from London as well. And here I'm just going to drag AI structure and I'm just dragging it all the way to 100 simply so you can see what it does to the photo. If you're familiar with the original structure photo, as you know, if you drag it all, all the way all the way to the right, it gets really everything pretty crispy. And as you can see here, I don't have that crispy of a sky, which I think looks nice. Um, as you can tell, there's the before and there's the after. It definitely brought up a lot of uh, the detail and the clarity in the buildings and in the trees. There it is before and after. Um, and it brought up a little bit in the sky, but again, it's it's not something where I think it's going over the top. Um, I've got color balance here. I would, just because I like to edit photos, I'd probably drag the highlights a little bit to the right to bring up some of that color in the sky. I mean, you could go crazy, but I don't really want to do all that. Uh, oh, I'm in, I'm in shadows. Sorry, I'm in the wrong section. I need to be in highlights. I thought it looked a little funny. Here we go. Um, highlights, there we go. Something I would do to the photo just to bring up that sunset, but the point really was what AI structure did to the photo. Let me just uh, turn that off again. You can see there's the before and the after. Let me show you another photo example. Okay, one more photo from my recent trip. This was taken in Wales. In this case, I want to compare the original structure and the AI structure. So I'm just going to go to 100 on AI structure. And if you look at that, let me show you the before and the after. Uh, the details definitely come up, and I'm at 100, right? So the details definitely come up in the foreground and in the waves, but the sky, I think the sky looks nice, to be honest. There's before and after. One more time, before and after. I think the sky looks better, in fact. Um, so I think that's looking pretty good. Now, it might be a little bit heavy-handed in the rocks, but I don't think it looks necessarily so overdone that you would expect at 100. And I think that's one of the cool things about this filter. It's, it is intelligent. It's bringing up details where, you know, it, it assumes that I want them. And that's the thing. It's AI based. So, you know, it's, um, it's figuring things out on its own. That's not necessarily a replacement for you or I. I think it's, it's a way to accentuate and speed up our workflow. Um, will I still mask things in? Yeah, you bet. Will I mask in this uh, particular filter? I don't know. It'll probably depend on the image. Um, let me turn that off and let me turn the regular structure filter to 100. Now, you're, you might say, well, Jim, you got boost at 50. Now, if you, uh, if you, let me reset that. I'll just hit reset so you can see that. You know, uh, maybe you don't know, but structure on the original structure, the boost starts at 50. So I can take it to zero and you'll notice there's no change in the photo. I can take this to 100 no change in the photo. So even though boost was at 50, 50 is kind of like zero, which is why I think that they put boost uh, starting at zero in AI structure, because I always found that a little bit confusing. If you're, um, you know, if you start at boost of 50, you might think, well, that just made that look terrible. Let me take it down to zero. And when you take it to zero, you actually reset the filter to zero. So let me show you that one more time, right? So there's zero structure and zero boost. So even if I take the amount all the way to 100, it doesn't do anything to the photo. So the reason I showed you that, and I'm just gonna hit reset again, is because when I compare 100 on this structure filter to 100 on the AI structure, I'm actually comparing the same thing, even though boost looks like 50, well, is 50 here, and is zero there. I wanted to clarify that it's not impacting the look of the photo. So there's boost at a, excuse me, boost. There's a structure, the original structure filter at 100, super crispy. I mean, it just, it looks terrible to be honest. Uh, let me turn that off and let me turn this back on. There's AI structure at 100, very different. Um, I actually think it looks pretty good. Let me turn that off again and turn that on again. Way overdone, way too crispy, totally overdone. Again, it's 100, you wouldn't go there most likely, I get that. I'm just comparing how does this filter at 100 compare to the new filter at 100. So one more time, I think the new filter even at 100 looks pretty usable. Now I would take it down, but let, you know, let's go to 70. I mean, that looks great to be honest. And then I would come in with Sky Enhancer, maybe pull that down and maybe a little polarizer as well. And I spent 
seconds on this photo and I went from that to that and honestly it's now I got a spot over there but you know hey you're not gonna pick on me about that but honestly it looks good I mean like I'm done with the photo and all I did is I took AI structure to 70 it applied nice structure mostly in the places that I want it it added a tiny bit to the sky there's the before and there's the after just the AI structure keeping sky enhancer and polarizer on let me show you that one more time before and after I think that looks really good my friends I think that's cool I think this is going to be a useful and fun filter I've got one more uh, one more photo I want to show you and it's a portrait now you know I'm not a portrait taker generally I've been to a few events and I get some portraits but I thought you know honestly I was too lazy to go dig through my library and find them so I took an iPhone photo that I had on my iPhone emailed it to myself dropped it here into this version of Luminar 3 this is my daughter and I uh, on a recent hike in Wales on that vacation I took um, here's AI structure at hundred didn't do anything to our skin if you look at that let me turn that off there's before and there's after it accentuated all the rocks in the background a little bit in the lake but our skin is virtually untouched there you go one more time before and after honestly I think it's completely untouched I don't see a thing different about my face right let me turn this filter off let me show you the original structure at 100 now again I know you're not going to go to 100 I'm just showing you how the filter works but take a look at that talk about coal miner um, there are spots on my face I've never seen and I look at this face every day I look terrible that's the coal miner look I'm talking about now again you probably wouldn't use positive structure on a portrait certainly not to a hundred but hey close that um, but take a look I mean that's what it does versus that at a hundred very different very intelligent and that's why I'm saying it's content aware it knows what to look for and I think this is going to be a really interesting and useful feature and filter for us in Luminar 4 whenever it gets here I don't know I haven't seen it so you can ask but I don't know uh, it's coming this fall that's all I know and it will include this AI structure filter and no I don't believe they're going to go put this in Luminar 3 I think this was just an easy way to allow us to test this filter without showing us Luminar 4 that's my guess anyway I hope that was helpful um, if you're interested in learning more about Luminar 4 you can click the link down below and you can also purchase uh, down below you can pre-order it's selling for $69 and the regular is $89 that comes with a bunch of presets or looks again it's at the link below full disclosure that is an affiliate link so if you click it and purchase something I make a small commission that helps uh, support me and this uh, website with all these free tutorials which at this point nearly uh, number nearly 200 I'm getting really close to 200 tutorials on Luminar so if you do buy Luminar hey come back and check out my stuff because I got a lot of tips and tricks here even if you don't buy it with my link it's great if you do and I appreciate it but if you don't that's cool too come check out the videos anyway I wanted to give you a rundown on AI structure which is coming this fall in Luminar Four. Hope it helped. Appreciate you checking it out and watching and following along. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and adios.